put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Head in the game, head in the game. Money on my mind, head in the game. It's like I scored again, diamonds on the bench. I can hear the music playing with the band. Crowd wild, 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 in the fan. I'm locking in on a mission, I turn them up, bitch. You young, she get like me. I got no shirt, she with me. I gave her a jersey, I told her to join my team. It's best you go real safe. You know how I play, I get you a sack like prank. You can teach my new fly, I turn it out. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. This can be my life when I walk in the field. Yellow diamonds on me like I play for the Steelers. I'm in the field, you're just like a Steeler. Oh, this your girl, pop ain't had the Steeler. I hop on the beat and I float like a river. I call a TD, yeah, right from the middle. I'm speaking next, boy, you tell me real. Hang with the gang, so we had to sit on the field. Now, I'm in LA, riding around in the round. My dog just caught safe in a touchdown. When I call a paper, you will hear a sound. Hold on, hold on, hold on, money call it right now. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Two turned up, turned down, right, 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 right. Two dope, big bad to get around, right, 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 right. Take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. 
He's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other, they're controlling the defensive front linebackers. You're exactly right. It'll be a very long night for the defense. But someone's going to run for some big yardage. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard games running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. He's going to get four. He's down the 10-yard line. Oh, 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 oh. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And L1 on the inside handoff. And this won't do it. And he is so sick. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there. Of course you're going to give it to him. They run. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Williams diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Charles, clearly they wanted to send a message there and impose their will. They score their opening possession on a drive comprised entirely of rushing the football. Message sent. I don't know that the team on the other side of the field wanted to receive it, but what a statement on an opening drive. Just run it all the way down the field. No passes. That absolutely sets the tone that they're going to be physical in this game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Throwing his hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you get ready to tee off on the quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might well go ahead and run it anyway, because that's your strength. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 23. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far. And they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, 
that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission. All in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Another run here with Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There, no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop the hole, the big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit, and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. The Eagles at 7 and 5 now in the year. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yards and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Back to throw here. This one is caught. It's more. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. It. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there. It takes away what could have been a touchdown. The offense scheme going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. And they'll get him down right about the 20. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, this defense for the Eagles, they were terrific in week one in Washington. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start this climb out on the ground. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Thank 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. That's caught at the 25. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. On second in the yard. Hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown. Eagles. Dallas got his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles are back within a score. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos on to the field ready to start their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on the lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Yeah, exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On play action, no throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's not down. We will see the run of the play down here. He can put the ball right back because they're playing for old momentum. He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here... Guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And across the midfield, strike into Eagle territory. Defensively, it was Avante Maddox with a tackle. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they'll get this down only to about the 46. And follow up the game in front of Miami getting the run there on second down. We'll talk about defenders specifically long markers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that right down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That is the That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. 
And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone. And this is going to wind up a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned them deep and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Here we go. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. He did have the touchdown earlier, but now they have to block more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Here comes the blitz as they look to throw. He'll get that complete to Albert O. The Eagles going to take the first of their ten points. Well, it's remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And now following the safety, they'll have the football with a chance to take the lead as they begin following the free kick with a first and ten. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Second down play, not much better than the first. Just a game of run there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that field. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Being chased out left. A right, rifle's run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the side. And the Eagles are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. But first down, Hurts. 
This is Smith with a grab. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. They'll run with Sanders. It's a good pickup of 7 yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use... The back end of the end zone, the sidelines is extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail and we are back underway. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. field ready to start their next drive well Charles we saw a pretty entertaining first half close ball game remember there toward the end of the second quarter the opposition scored to take the lead out so these guys can get a score of their own and regain that lead yeah they want to have that type of a response don't they because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time Gauntlet's been thrown down they want to see if they're ready to answer it Deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up in the play. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, yeah. Broncos send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? 
beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs even though they're playing out on the perimeter. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 17-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second and nine, Hurts. Open man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, a 16-yard touchdown. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Okay. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And space tough to come by there and so they get maybe a yard to the 37. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe okay, change up some ready. blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 
Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They try the left side here with Williams. Treads him with a stiff arm. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 56 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Check pass, check pass. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Avante Maddox. Eagles will take over here just shy of the 30. offense had to begin their next drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because six yards on that last play here's second and four on the counter now it's Sanders and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage call that a loss of a yard and things get a little more difficult here third and five run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter I think we'll see a lot of it and the difference between that and a pass blitz pass blitz you're just trying to get to the quarterback you're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure you get and the Broncos get there and take him down Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Pulled in at the 24. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here we go. Here the Broncos we go. onto the field ready to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Tapping there by big Jordan Davis. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. First throw now for the backup to a tongue of Iloa. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job protecting him in this game. And all it was hit again as he yeah, Another time on his backside. They're probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon, Charles. Three interceptions. It's rare that we see three interceptions by one team, let alone by an individual. And I think that after the second one, he's probably telling his teammates, any ball that's in the air, it's going to be mine. And that turned out to be true. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him now to this point. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defense. Four, and now it's second and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run with Sanders. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. A.J. Brown from four yards out. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. 
with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time now? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play. Don't never give this type of situation again. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, here's Williams. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short. Maybe a foot. Maybe five, five inches. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was. It all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Eagles, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-5. and five. And they'll have another home date next week as the New York Giants come to town. Meanwhile, for Denver, it's just their third loss as they fall now to 10-3. and three. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions.